the topic of this video is mathematical models building functions. And the subcategory type of this particular discussion is finding a distance from a fixed point to a point on a function. Okay, so uh, whenever I teach this skill to students, I like to emphasize that it's important to understand the skills needed to solve problems of this type and the conceptual understanding needed for problems of this type. And I tend to teach those things separately. The first thing I'm gonna teach you is just the skill, which means right now I want you to emphasize understanding what are the steps, not necessarily why we're doing them, just that we're doing them. When I get to the next video, I'll go over the concept, which will give you the why behind what we are doing. Okay, so first skill, let P equal X comma Y be a point on the function y equals the square root of x. Express the distance d from p to 1.75 comma 0 as a function of x. Okay, the skill part needed to solve this problem goes like this. Put the points number comma number and x comma y in the distance formula, replace y with what it equals, and simplify. So for this problem, number number is right here 1.75 comma 0 this is going to be our x1 and our y1 that we'll put in the distance formula and then x comma y is going to be our x2 y2 that we're going to put in our distance formula which means our distance formula is going to have both letters and numbers in it and that's okay all right here we go distance formula time the distance formula goes like this And now we're going to plug into it. Okay, here we go. So, x2. For this problem, that's just the letter x. x1, that's 1.75. y2. For this problem, that's just the letter y. y1, that's 0. Okay, now we're going to begin to simplify. So, an exponent tells me how many times to multiply a base by itself. So this is going to be an x minus 1.75 times another x minus 1.75, which I will multiply with FOIL. Next, we turn our attention to this part of the problem. Now, I want, to imagine, I want you to imagine a person is 20 years old. And then I say, subtract zero from their age, now how old are they? It's my hope that you would say, they're still 20. Subtracting zero doesn't change value. Now let's apply that in an algebra sense. What if you start with y, and I said, now subtract zero? Well, then nothing should change. You should still have y. So y minus zero is just y, and then when you square it, you have y squared. Okay. Great. So now we're going to do the other two things that were listed here in the skill. We are going to replace y with what it equals, and we are going to simplify. That means we're going to do the FOIL in here, and then we're going to try and combine some things together. All right, so here we go. We're going to do all of those things in the next line here. First, let's do our FOIL. x times x, x squared. x times subtract 1.75 makes minus 1.75x. Subtract 1.75 times x makes subtract 1.75x. And subtract 1.75 times subtract 1.75 makes add something. And I'll pick up my calculator to determine what that is. So 1.75 times 1.75 is 3.0625. Now, I'm not done yet because I still have to do this plus y squared. Now, this is the moment where I'm going to replace y with what it equals. In the given problem statement, I was told y equals the square root of x. So instead of y squared, I'm going to write the square root of x in parentheses squared. All right, and now I'm going to begin to combine some things and to simplify. So let's go ahead and move up here d equals square root of. So we have an x squared. We're going to combine these together. 
minus 1.75 minus another 1.75 makes minus 3.5x plus 3.0625. And then a square and a square root cancel, so this is just going to give me x. Now, I could just write x, but I'm not. And the reason why is because I want to be able to combine it with this other like term in the next step. This is a decimal with one decimal place. So I'm going to write x as a decimal valued coefficient with one decimal place. I'm going to write it as 1.0x. 1.0x is the same as just x. But this helps me know how to put these together. All right, so then I'm going to have d equals the square root of x squared negative 3.5 plus 1.0 makes negative 2.5x plus 3.0625. All right, so I've simplified as much as I can. There's only one more thing to do in this problem. It says to express the distance as a function of x. So instead of just writing d equals, I need to write d of x equals all of this stuff. And that will be my final answer. Remember, right now I'm only teaching you the skill. I have not taught you the concept. I've not explained why we're doing any of this or what it represents. That's coming in the next video.